Hey everyone, this is Crazy Mike from CrazyMikesApps.com and we're going to check out the uh, AppBox Pro by they were called, I want to say, Second and Design, but they've changed their name to All About Apps. Um, they're a developer group out of um, uh, I believe Seoul, South Korea. So here's the deal. Um, you got all these apps, right? I open it up to my screen and um, it's the it's it's the screen where it has the holidays and it gives you my battery life and the amount of space I have on the uh, the app. You know, you got the battery life app, which is really see I'm only at 50 percent. This is high, you know, the app box Pro. I don't do a lot of utility. This is a utility app. I don't do a lot of app reviews for these things. I think this is like the second, which was a non-game. But I think the, the this is a high quality app. That's why it's probably currently number one. And there's another really big reason, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, there's a calculator. There's the dashboard. That's what I open up to. You can see my icon back there. You can set that to a picture of your choice. Um, go back to the apps. You got your holidays. You got price grab where you can compare prices. You know, whatever. Go back. It's very easy to get back to where you want to. You got the loan calculator. I'm telling you, there's, I mean, I know there's a lot of utility apps that have a lot of, of things like this, but a lot of, of utility apps, and we've seen these, I've seen them, but, um, you know, it's, it's pretty cool because of these little books, and these books are the web apps, and uh, I'll show you, Google Books, so there's a bunch of Google Books, oh, okay, we're going to have to do a quick little thing here. Because Crazy Mike was uh, not wanting to um, have any distractions while I was doing this review. So we'll go back here. Now that my um, now that my airplane mode's gone, we'll go back into the Google Books, and uh, it's it's a web app. So you got to be connected to the uh, the network or your Wi-Fi settings, obviously. So w what I'm going at is this is in my opinion kind of a game-changing app that it seamlessly introduces the web apps into the app itself so they seem native and this is Google Books you can read free books and things like that you can go to you know whatever I want um, say we want to travel what do we got for travel where we want to go the cruise of the snark Mont St. Michael so a bunch of crap I don't want to read okay Anyhow, we go to more, which is really what I want to see is Reader. Because I've been getting into Google Reader to, uh, you know, speed up my ability to take in information by checking out all the blogs, uh, social media, as well as uh, the Apple and iPhone blogs. So you can do that right from here. you got to be, you know, got to have a you know, G Gmail account. You can see MF Velez at Gmail, and it'll pull up my, my feeds right there uh, eventually. I got my Wi-Fi. My Wi-Fi is a little slow out here in the country. Any day now. So. Beautiful thing. These are all my readers. All my, uh, all my Crazy Mike's apps. Dig, Hard Mac, Hot Air Tips, iPhone Alley, Mashable, Michelle Malkin, Mike's social media blog, Politico all this stuff and then I've got some other stuff up here SEO security these are actual like you know inside and these are specific chosen by um, Google you can just pick a folder and it gives you all that stuff so when you're done playing around with that I mean again you can go to your calendar you can go to your Gmail account you can go back to your apps you know there's a game called collapse in here um, it's it's just these this is a web app okay it looks as if it's a regular app, you know, and, you know, it's not. So you can play this game. And, you know, it's, it's. So anyhow, back to the apps. I want to see, oh, that's Apple Web Apps. It's got a tip calculator. I want to, what's the speed I got? I got sucky speed. Let's see how sucky it is. So this, again, this is a web app. I just go test now. 
it's not really any slower than any regular apps. It's a little bit slower, I'll have to say. But again, I'm on the Wi-Fi. If I was on the 3G network, I'd probably be doing a lot faster. Let's see what it says. Bada bing, bada boom. Come on, baby. Wow. It's going to break. It's that slow. You guys wonder why it takes me so long to do these videos. Just kidding. Any day now. Wow. Look at it go. I'm not sure it's going to give me a reading back. But it's a pretty cool little spacey asterisk circle thing. Yep. You can't see it. It's right there. Gee, it's going to go dark. <laughs> Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> All right. What do we got here? Wow, I checked everything. So, your internet speed is 50.5 kilobytes per second. It says my Wi-Fi is better. Reference by technology, GPRS, Edge, 3G, and then Wi-Fi. Well, that's pretty lame. Um, uh, anyhow, so that sucked. Marriott Mobile, Note to Light, which I'm not even sure what this is. I think it's a, a Note app, but I mean, you got a Note app inside there. The thing about this that's kind of, you know, to me startling is the, um, the seamlessness of the, uh, the seamlessness of the, um, okay, we're going to back out of here. Of how the web apps work with the uh, the the actual app itself. There's a lot of things you can do with this if you can understand. I think the guys that develop web apps should be encouraged by this because they've. I don't think the web apps have been accepted into the iPhone, in my opinion. Guys like you know people like Google that had the problem with the one app could actually have that app in here. Um, and and again, it's just like it just. These are web apps, the ones that look like a book. They're not Google, or they're not iPhone apps. Um, I believe they have to be, um, they have to be approved because these are Apple web apps. Um, so that is going to be, you know, something to consider because I, I, it's still probably going to have to go by the uh, the SDK. Um, so, oh, Ellen DeGeneres named the fourth American Idol judge. Uh, it's you know, no offense, but. She doesn't know crap about singing, so that's kind of a stupid choice, in my opinion. She's funny and everything, but, um, yep. Anyhow, they're going to be hurting without Paul. It's my little take on that. Anyhow, this is Appbox Pro by All About Apps that was called uh, Second Second End Design or whatever. Second Gen, second gen Design, but now they're All About Apps. Um, and you can get this for 99 cents in the iTunes App Store. Uh, you can add more of these. I added most of these web apps, and there's more that you can add. So, you know, I, that's why this is so powerful and so, so, uh, in my opinion, so, so popular. Until next time, this is Crazy Mike saying see ya.